Alrighty, in this video I'm going to go through and we're going to set up the unarmed anim layer. So basically we want to, well, not do the full procedural logic when we're holding, you know, let me rephrase that. So when we lean left and right, we want to want to really have like a huge thing. Like I don't want to be bending all like this and stuff when we don't have a, a held item to really correspond to why we would be in the first place. So we're going to go ahead and set that up really quick. And I did do a little bit of changing here to the folder. So inside a tutorial, we have an animation folder, which contain the interface and the main anim BP. Yeah, main anim BP. And then we have a folder for layers. So to begin, we're just going to copy and paste the layer. And I'm going to name this one tutorial layer unarmed. Open that up, open our layer, and we can delete everything except for this section. So all this and everything above it. Then we just grab the input pose, plug that in like so. And then we have our procedural spine uh, cache. So we're going to search for procedural spine, grab that, plug it in, compile, save. And this layer is pretty much ready to go and test. So we're going to go back to our tutorial with our anim layer selected. We're going to change this one to the unarmed layer. So here you can see kind of the result. And when we press play, you will notice we have some derpy arms. So as I look up and down, you can see it's going to look pretty much the exact same with the spine. So these are where we need to tweak the values. But before we do that, let's go ahead and fix the arms. So in our event graph, we want to pretty much get our shooter pawn component and tell whether or not we have a held actor. So I went ahead and created a variable shooter pawn component of type shooter pawn component and a Boolean for B has held actor. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a custom event and call this one set shooter pawn data inside of here. We just check and see if our shooter pawn component is valid because if it is we want to go ahead and get our data otherwise we want to set the pawn component so in the case of it being invalid we're going to get our pawn owner and search for get shooter pawn component and from there we can simply set it next up we want to go ahead and get the procedural data so we want to get our shooter, it's something. It gets something data. Get, no, let's get, crap. I forget it just about every single time. Let me search for data. Let's not get procedural pose data. Get procedural shooter pawn data. There it is. And we want to split it. So one of the things that it contains is a, well, a bool of if we have a held actor. So we're going to grab our boolean. We're going to set it to be shooter pawn has held actor. Likewise, we're going to go to here. And after the cast, we're going to go and do set shooter pawn data they really made this as ugly as possible didn't they but we're gonna go ahead and call our call our function there go into our anim graph grab b has held actor and plug it in like so so now when we move around when we don't have anything we basically our arms are normal now we want to tweak how we actually look up and look down so I want to look up with pretty much mostly the upper back and then neck and the head. We don't have as many bones as I wish, but we have, well, enough. So for look up and down, we're going to do spine 03, neck, and head. Same exact thing here, spine 3 neck 
and head. So that's going to change how we look up and down. So if I look straight down, now we can see basically it's all in the head, neck and head. Look straight up likewise, and the leaning's all in the head. So we want to change that a little bit. So we want it to lean a little bit more with the spine. So we're going to do point 0.2. So we're going to double that. And less with the head, so we'll do point 0.65. Likewise, we need more movement with the spine. So we're going to try point 0.2 as well. And I'm saying probably less with the head. So 3, 4, 5, so 0 0.5. Let's give that a try. So lean left and right. Uh, probably do a little bit more with the upper back. Let's look up. That looks decent to me. I really wish we had more than one spine bone or neck bone. And that doesn't look so great. So we have a lot with the head. That's just where we're gonna kind of leave it. It looks decent, but it could look better. Actually, let's go ahead and bump this up. We'll do 0 0.3, and we'll do 0 0.4, and see if that helps at all. So looking down, okay. I'm almost wondering if it's has to do with the neck. So let's try less with the neck. So we'll do point. Actually, let's do 0 0.2 and 0 0.2. Let's see. 0.6. Don't know why I couldn't do that in my head. And I think that looks a little bit better. It's not as aggressive in the head. Or not the head, sorry. The, uh, like the looking down so aggressively, like you have a bad hunch. But it's decent. So now we have our unarmed and armed layers. We can basically switch between them as we need. So this will do the normal. It's got the uh, left hand IK enabled, so it's going to look a little bit goofy, but we have the different spines for looking up and down and all that kind of stuff. So we're basically ready to move forward. So we can set it up to where we equip and unequip, and then we start getting into the fun concept of the actual animations themselves. So I'll see you then.